Start off by drawing the area where you want your scrape to be with a white eye pencil. This step is optional, but it's always helpful. Take a bright red grease paint and lightly apply a thin layer around the area. When you have a fresh wound, the area around it will always look a bit red and irritated. I'm using a sponge to apply the grease paint, but you could also use your fingers, just don't apply too much or it won't look realistic. Next up, you want to take a yellow grease paint and a soft brush. You want to use this yellow to fill in the area where the scrape will be. I'm using this yellow as a undertone, meaning that it won't be that visible once I've applied the rest of the makeup, but it will make a difference in the end. I'm using a light brown grease paint to apply on the edges of the scrape. I've used pictures of real scrapes to determine the colors that show up when you've just scraped your skin. It seems like there's always a darker tone around the scrape area. This color will also fade when I've applied the rest of the makeup, but again, it does help to make the wound look more realistic. I'm using a small angled brush and a flat brush to apply it and blend it into the yellow. After blending the brown into the yellow, I noticed that the yellow wasn't that visible. Um, that's why I went back in and applied some more of the yellow grease paint. The sponge that I'm showing you right now is normally used for cleaning or doing your dishes. It has a great structure for applying liquid latex onto the skin. I'm using a cheap sponge like this one because latex will ruin your sponges and brushes and you won't be able to use them afterwards. So please use something cheap to apply it. As you can see the liquid latex looks like a braided skin, so a sponge like this works perfect. Wait a couple of minutes for it to dry, it will turn translucent once it's dry. Take a stipple sponge, which is one of my favorite sponges to use for special effects makeup. If you don't have a sponge like this, I'm sure you can use a sponge you've used to apply the latex. Take some of the bright red you've used before and make sure you wipe it on your hand or a tissue first. You want to build up your makeup and make sure you don't apply too much at first otherwise it might look too dramatic. Softly apply the retin to the latex. It will make your skin look more abraded. I'm also using a plum color, which I use a lot for my special effects makeup, and I'm doing the exact same thing I did before. Always making sure I don't apply too much at once. So take your sponge and apply some fresh red blood on it, preferably the fake kind, if you know what I mean. I prefer blood that has a yellow undertone to it, making it look more like an orangey red rather than a pink dark red. Um, the bright red makes it look more like a fresh wound to me. Make sure you wipe off most of the blood before you apply it. 
I always feel like my wounds look too dramatic if I apply too much blood at once. From now on you can stop whenever you want. I feel like the wound looks at its best when it's still a little subtle. But I went a little further and I also applied a darker and thicker blood, which has more of a pink undertone to it. It makes it look as if some of the blood has already dried. I'm also applying this with the stipple sponge, making sure that I don't apply too much at once. Uh, afterwards, I also decided that the wound needed a little bit of dirt. That's why I'm applying some black grease paint on some of the areas and I'm smudging it with my finger. These steps are all optional, just have fun with it. Uh, but don't overdo it because it will look fake. So good luck and if you have any suggestions or requests you can leave a comment on this video or send me a message on Facebook. I uh, hope you guys liked it and see you until next time. Bye!